joining tournaments comes with a lot of preparedness, both physically and mentally. And it's not only for the day itself, but preparation comes weeks and months prior to the actual tournament. In this video, I am especially honored to introduce the man that we call the master of Philippine badminton. He has produced two Olympians, one who played for the U.S. and one who played for the Philippines. He is also responsible for me and my brother being the first Filipinos to qualify for the World Championships. So without further ado, let me introduce my mentor, my coach, and my dad, Coach Nelson Asuncion, as we take you to conversations regarding how to be prepared for a tournament. Hi, Coach Nelson Asuncion. So for today, our discussion will be about preparations for a tournament. Um, since you were a national team player yourself and you played for the Philippines, maybe we could start out with your experience as a player. Uh, during my time, that is way back uh, 1960s, uh, we don't have a... Uh, really have a coach and then we only play games for to prepare for a tournament and then uh and our games always at night i remember during that time i whenever i joined a tournament i was i was so scared always i can't sleep well i can't eat well so after a tournament you can see look at i can look at the picture and then say wow i'm so thin because of that tournament. I actually remember um, these stories as a kid. You would tell us how it was for you, how nervous you would get and how you can't eat. And by the end of the week, you've lost so much weight. And so you would always discuss this with us, talk to us and um, ask us how we feel. And we were very openly um, expressing ourselves which was very good so you would always tell us um, tell me if you're feeling nervous so I can comfort you I can tell you what to think of and I think we are very lucky in that sense that you as our coach had experienced um, some things that you thought you could have done better so when you were coaching us you would tell us what to do and what not to do so I am very happy and grateful that we are um, the luckier generation because of that. So now let's get to business. Let's talk about preparation for the tournament. So all these years that you've been coaching, what, what is the first thing that you would tell a player when they ask you how to prepare for a tournament? Uh, first thing is I always look at the tournament when it's going to be held and where to be held uh, because for that uh, we have to schedule our training there's such things like long-term training mm -hmm. and then uh, short training so it all depends how you have to prepare and okay. then the next thing is that you after you prepare that one so you have the pick so you can play your game well and then we have to go to the the venue where it is. It depends if there's an aircon, like for example, here in the Philippines, we have this tournament uh, in, inside the mall. So the weather is kind of cold. So you have to bring some clothes after your game. You have to wear jack, jogging, jogging suit so that to keep yourself warm. And then don't go around the mall see after your game or before your game you have to warm up well before your game you have to warm up well in such a way that you feel that you already perspiring and then you feel like you're going to burn out see something like that because there's a pressure and there's a tension inside you so you have to keep yourself warm to bring it out so that when you go inside the court you feel better because you're warm you're you're prepared if it is in a hot venue, for example, the venue does not have air conditioning, like in some of our tournaments, what kind of preparation would you say uh, a player must do? 
um, don't go to the place too early. Mm-hmm. You maybe you can go there one hour before you have to be there so that you have enough time to prepare, to warm up. The, because if you go too early, then the heat will kill you. Mm-hmm. And then after after going the after your warm up, you have to always remind it that this is just a game, another game. So you don't have to worry for anything. Don't think of who is your opponent. Just go inside the court and play as normal. You train your training. You have play games during the training. This is just another game. Just do your best and bring out your best. The most important thing is bring out your game. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. Because you, if we lost, then we learn something from that. That's okay. So when the venue is warmer, no air conditioning, uh, we must remember to be hydrated, to drink lots of water, um, to have snacks that are healthy and beneficial for us. So we can say um, having fruits such as bananas or apples are safe because um, it fills us in a way, but it it's not too heavy. So you can still move if you have matches coming up. So, there are uh, different types of tournament. There are tournaments that have multiple games in a day. How would you um, tell our players to prepare if there are multiple games in one day? For me, first, I have to look at the tournament, the organizer. So, there, because there are some tournaments that uh, are not well organized. What I'm trying to say is that the schedule is too... Um, to erratic not, not, yes. sometimes it's sometimes, um, yes. the delay is the too long delay is too mm-hmm. long yes yes exactly so so in that case because we are for example we we our game is nine o'clock then we have to prepare to go to go to the court so we wake up maybe six six thirty prepared ourselves we have to eat our breakfast so for example we eat our breakfast during se- uh, at seven o'clock then we go to the court, see? And then the, the game, instead of playing on 9 o'clock, it becomes 10, 10, 30, mm-hmm. or sometimes even worse. Some tournaments are worse. Maybe two hours delay. So and, and sometimes you, they even reach early mornings. The same. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Your body is not the same anymore because you're going to feel hungry. So we better to bring some food. Fruits, I mean, fruits, uh, you bring some fruits and then, like, for example, banana, apple, so that you can take that if in case this happened. Okay. Um, it is safer for you to have some snacks, fruits, or light sandwiches to keep um, your stomach and your body fueled. Okay. You need those food because once you get on court and you have nothing in your stomach, there's nothing to burn, and you will end up sometimes uh, dehydrated that you will um, be cramping or worse uh, i hope not that you get injured because your body is already tired and then you did not nourish it with enough food so please do make sure that you have uh, taken the right food you've eaten right and you're ready and well for the games so um we uh, this discussion we've started with uh, local tournaments that's for local tournaments what about for international tournaments wherein of course the whole environment changes from where you would stay where you would sleep of course because you cannot control it anymore in our own homes we can control the aircon or if we don't want aircon for the day we can just close it but in a different country when the country is cold or when the aircon is um, on at the hotel 24 um, 7 the food everything becomes different so uh, how would you uh, tell these players to prepare going into uh, a foreign country since uh, you have experienced it yourself um, you you were able to join the southeast asian games in singapore and um, maybe you can share a little on how to prepare for an international competition. 
Uh, first of all, when you arrive there, you have to check well, where the, the information desk is. Mm -hmm. And then get the schedule. Mm -hmm. And then look at the time of the uh, transport because they're usually they have this uh, bus. Uh, they provide transportation to, to the venue. Yes, yes. yes they, yeah. And also then check your practice day and time. Mm -hmm. And then go go to and then when you go to the to your room, check where is your room and try to look at the fire exit, just to be safe, to know where you you have to go in case of emergency like that, and then prepare yourself. Make sure that you have a, a practice court and a practice venue so that if it's possible that you get to hit. Um, and train a bit before your actual matches. So aside from yes. that, and let also mm -hmm. and also one thing I forgot. Uh, maybe you should also consider the the food. What time you have to have your breakfast? What time mm -hmm. they uh, the breakfast will last till eleven o'clock or something? Okay. Yeah. And and I think you've also um, told us so many times before when we go to international tournaments that. Um, we shouldn't be adventurous in terms of uh, trying out food that we're not used to. Like, um, if you're not used to spicy food, you shouldn't be trying it at that time. Uh, when you're not used to certain um, types of food, make sure you check them. Like, for example, your lactose intolerance. Therefore, you can't have uh, anything that has dairy or milk. So when you buy your food, make sure that it doesn't have those things. Otherwise, if you spoil your, your stomach, then, you know, you'll be weak for your tournament. So, it's very important to, to be very safe with your choices of food. Right. It's good. I used to remember all Yes, I, I, I remember <laughs> that. Considering I love to eat and I'm very adventurous with food, I will not do it before before the tournament and but i will do it after the games like if if the games are done i i will try and i will um be adventurous with food just not yeah, before but, uh, but, <laughs> oh, but it's okay now you are you are coach already you can give what you want. yes th that's the good part <laughs> these days since i am just coaching i can be adventurous yeah. with the food now um in terms of preparation um for for the games what how much time do you need to be you know to be at the venue before your actual game what is a good number of time for you for me i think uh, one hour is enough mm -hmm. because uh it uh, you, that's give you enough time to warm up mm -hmm. warm up yourself and then Whatever you need, you already prepare. Maybe to get drinks or something. Mm -hmm. uh, one hour is enough. So make sure before um, going to the venue that you check on everything, uh, that you have everything in your bags, your shoes, your extra shorts, your extra shirts, your extra towels, so that you have it all covered. Uh, you do not worry about anything and that you do not think of anything but thinking only of your game so once you get to the venue and you're there an hour before um, I, I always um, tell my um, my players um, these days that the warm-up is of course a case-to-case -case basis some players need to warm up longer while some don't want it that long so you have to know how much time you need to prepare your warm-up before getting on court. We have to stress that um, being warm, especially in cold places, is very important because you want to get on court and ready to move. If you're too cold and your muscles are stiff, uh, chances are you'll have a hard time moving. So again, uh, we would like to stress that warming up is very, very important uh, before the game. So during the game, you all you have to focus on is um, to enjoy your game, to be able to play your game, uh, to know what gets you your point, and to be able to cover 
uh, the weak spots that you've missed your shots? I always tell our player that uh, uh, when you go inside the court, don't think of who your opponent is, how strong he is or whatever. You just go in as uh, to play a game. It's just another day that you want to play a game so that there is no pressure at all. And then play your best. See? Don't, don't think too much. See? Try to analyze what your mistake is. How often where you get caught on this side or that side, then watch out. See? And once in a while, you look at your coaches or your coach to get some advice. That's it. Okay. For, but for those who are not that lucky to have um, coaches with them in, in tournaments, you can also have your trusted friend who, who also plays badminton to be on the side, to remind you um, on, uh, to remind you little details like what to watch out for and um, how you get uh, more, most of your points. You remind me of uh, when you were joining uh, a lot of tournaments and I cannot go go with you because for for financial because if I follow you and then we are three if I don't yes. follow you for two times you can go to yes. another I mean you can join another tournament. I I so I how did you manage mm -hmm. can I ask you how do you manage I, I I remember clearly yes um there were tournaments that we would go um with you as our coach um, but I know there were times that we were on a budget that we couldn't um, have an extra person because an extra person would mean we we could save that up and um, use it for another so international thing. tournament. Yes, um, I remember that. But maybe what's good is that um, Vic and I, Coach Vic and I, play doubles. So we have each other. So I can remind him, he can remind me. And along the way, um, we've built some, you know, friendships that were strong enough. And, you know, of course, um, we have good friends from different countries. And they were also cheering and rooting for us. So, uh, when they're there and they could give us some tips, uh, they would. So, uh, I think in, in some ways, I am grateful for that, for the friends that we had. Um, and for you, the coach that we had. Because most of the time you were there, and that after every game you would either message us or call us and check how how we did. Because back then, um, internet wasn't this big yet. I mean, I mean we couldn't um, communicate this easily. So back then it was phone calls, it was um, text messaging, but we've always always felt your support. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for all your words of wisdom. When you have everything covered already, enjoy the game. That's that's the most that um, that's the biggest advice that we would like to uh, impart. After everything that's been said and done, enjoy. Because after all, the reason why uh, we are in badminton, the reason why we enjoy badminton, is because we are competitive, but we have so much fun with the game. So always remember to have fun. Let me know how many tournaments you join in a year on the comment section below. And you can click on the links that you see on your screen so that you can level up your game and be the next smashing success.